Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and here we are finishing up level one of the tutorials and here we're just reviewing a assignment we did earlier and we're going to add layers to it and then dimension it so we'll click on the new layer icon and type in text and we'll make that color yellow and just move that over so it fits on my small screen here and then uh, again for dims I just use that for dimensions and make that color red okay and then we'll go back in and make a final layer for objects and we'll make that layer green so go in object and change that to green and we're good to go and now everything ready make the text current so that anything we draw now will be on that layer and apply and OK and so you'll first thing I'll do is just take all the objects and put them on the object layer which you'll see is actually red because I didn't uh, finish the command properly so I'm just going to easily go back in and show you that by changing the layer properties you change the properties of everything that's on that layer so now all the objects are green so now we're going to start the text command and we're just going to start it at 0 comma 0 and put in the height we want the text to be and the rotation angle and I'm just going to type in my name and the assignment number and my name is the person you make the checks out to thank you and from there I just want to move it up out of the corner and I'm just going to put in a base point of 0 comma 0 and it move it up one eighth of an inch up and over so it's off the corner so I've got objects I've got text in and now I'm just going to do some dimensioning and if you've looked at the other uh, tutorials you see dimensioning really isn't difficult but there are a lot of rules you need in order to make sure that your drawing is readable and that all your dimensions are clear so if you go to the inside you can see that that's not quite as easy to read as a dimension that comes right out from the outside radiuses same thing pulls it out and then it puts a center mark in for where the center point of that arc is and a diameter puts in the diameter symbol in front of the radius and uh, aligned brings it out parallel measuring the full length you'll see that's 0.53 but if you remember from the other tutorial it's actually 0.375 or rounded up to 0.8 and from there we can just finish doing uh, some baselines and but for that we need to first start with a linear dimension and so I'll just put that in and baselines just continue on from where you are on other uh, objects and just keep going along now that looks really crowded looks really bad so I can use grips to move them around and I'm just gonna bring that up and bring the this bottom one up and you'll see it still looks pretty crowded so I'm just gonna move the whole thing so I'm just gonna select everything shift select to remove the text and move them up out of the way and now I can bring uh, my dimensions back down so they fit a little nicer still a little cramped but it'll work for what this is and another linear dimension here so as you can see everything's on its layer and dimensioned and thanks for watching mycadsite.com